Hello and welcome back to another video guys. So in this video, I'm gonna try and update uh, the iDrive and program it in. Now, usually with this, I don't know how hard to explain. I mean, I've never really come across it, but it is a way of eliminating it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and program it, but that tells me it's the screen more than anything. I could be wrong, but there's only one way to find out really. I have been told it was working fine and then suddenly this happened so what I'm going to do is program it and update it, it's going to take a, quite a bit of a while uh, but we will try it and hopefully see what happens um, but that's kind of what we get and obviously none of that, everything works as in like but this kind of doesn't work so we are going to update it and see what happens from there but i'll guide you uh step by step or you know what you need to do if you're using the hotel this is the ultralight uh, hotel ultralight which is quite a bigger screen same as the others ms908 s pro same as quite a few other ones but um you've got the big um j2534 which you can do the coding so if you've got this you can do all the coding but you've got to be obviously paying your subscription otherwise it won't work you can do that, the full diagnostic scan and clear and active test and reset sensors, but you can't like code or so program. Yeah, using the new software, you'll have to go into programming. Uh, it's just telling you the ins and outs and what can happen and what can't. So that's what you need to do. That's what I've more or less done, but I've also included the ethernet. So, I mean, some cars you need the whole lot, some you don't, but in this case, I have just done it for the sake of it, but. On the older models as well like the ms908 uh, s pro on that one you had to like have another piece of chunk there that would like fit that in and another one whereas this they've just eliminated everything so it's all down there i wish it was just done with just that unit there rather than with all these cables but not to me i don't do all the coding on the other side i think the genius this is <laughs> Are the ones who built these so we'll hit okay it'll take a moment sometimes it takes a lot longer than this we'll just hit okay now you can do like coding for instance um let's say you've changed a xenon headlight or whatever it is let's just say the xenon headlight you would be doing the same thing literally it's the same process um connect these cables hit that it's also going to check for wi-fi obviously we go so what you need to you can do go coding but i'm just going to do a programming and coding in this case um it'll take a long time i know that if you did the coding it'd be a lot quicker so i'm just gonna undo it all and then head unit that's the one we need i'm gonna hit okay Okay, and then I'm just going to connect, well I've connected it to my phone, which is probably the best option as I am not near uh, so The file is complete and finished, so now it will move on to the next stage where it's going to do all the programming and coding now. Okay, that's fine, okay, uh, so we'll hit okay, ignition is on, and now it's going to do its game. Usually this kind of changes scenery and goes into a different mode, but so far nothing's really changed, so I doubt that this is kind of the problem, this coding, but I could be wrong, you never know. Um, so we'll just leave it for a minute. I mean, with anything really, even like the headlight coding, this is the way you do it. You'd select it 
and then proceed with the coding. Sometimes you won't allow you to, so I've just switched the vehicle off. I've kind of turned it on and then turned it off and then hit OK. So it, it thinks it's above 13 volts, which it is obviously, but it'll soon come below that. But yeah. As you can see, it's playing in this sort of mode. But really, it shouldn't be doing this. It should be coming up with some sort of like, I'll tell you the things that it's trying to download and the percentage. So I don't know what's happening here. I think this is probably, it's the monitor, the screen behind it. That's gone bust, if you ask me. But we'll soon find out, I could be wrong. And this could be right. But it's playing up with all the funny colors. Like, as you can see, it's like gray and then suddenly goes multicolored. Well, we'll soon find out, hopefully. So I said I was right. I was very surprised. Usually when you get this sort of things, it's even in tellies, you know the LED screen's gone. So what we're going to do is order another LED screen. Not the monitor behind it, but the LED screen. And hopefully take it from there and code it to the module and see how that goes.